You know your bun's too high when it can't even fit in the frame. <laughs> it's like a little <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like that looks better. As you can see my face is already beat. I actually planned on doing this look for YouTube but I don't know I just got like this anxiety like I was like oh my god. I don't even remember how to film a makeup tutorial for YouTube. I'm so used to like filming these little mini Insta videos. Um, anyway, so there's a mini Insta video that will be up on my Instagram um, of this look. So you can kind of see how I created it and what products I used. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a top 10 makeup fave products. Does that even make sense? No. Let me rephrase that. Top 10 makeup products at the moment. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, so basically, I get sent a lot of stuff. Okay, I don't actually get sent a lot of stuff. I get sent a little bit of stuff. <laughs> I'm not there yet, but I do get sent a little bit of stuff and I do buy a lot of makeup. So I'm going to be doing this every now and then when I have new um, makeup products that I think deserves a shout out and deserves to be known a couple of the products i actually used today and i tried it out and i have it on my face um but some of them i've actually tried out like a little while ago and i feel like these are actually products that you should have or you should try and invest in because they are really really great products none of the products that i'm going to be talking about today are sponsored um not that that would have much of an effect on what I'd be saying I don't think so you can take from that what you want um, <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna get going so I'm gonna do a countdown backwards like number 10 so the switch beauty prime time kit so I didn't actually expect to use this as often as I do basically you prep your lips by exfoliating it first and then you moisturize it and I've actually been using this quite a lot like whenever I do my makeup because I have quite dry lips because of eczema and you know just dry lips syndrome I don't know <laughs> my lips are always dry this has actually been helping me quite a lot so number nine is this mascara from Urban Decay it is a troublemaker mascara I just want to show you guys a little bristles it's like a really like it gets in there like these bristles get in there i normally put on like two to three coats and it doesn't clump which is a bonus so my number eight is the nyx or nyx um lid laundry day it's a matte lid laundry day and as you can see that's kind of like how it comes up and i use it on my lid before i want to put like colors like intense colors on and the colors just show up more vivid on my lid because of this white base um, also, if you want white in any of your looks, this is a great, a great white to put on your lips. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> so number seven is the Glam Glow Water Burst. And I'm going to open this up for you guys to see. So this is a moisturizer. I think it's going to be launched end of April. And it's just so hydrating. Like, this is how it looks on your skin. And, oh, the texture is just so nice it like feels like super hydrating on your skin and i'm just loving this because my skin's super dry so number six is the shop nuda cosmetics lashes it's currently empty because i'm wearing it right now it's like super wispy and it's really really good quality like really good quality like i normally import lashes from china and those aren't like the best quality but they do the job but this you pay a little bit for it but it's really good quality. If you'd like to get 10% off, you can use my discount code, which is Nizha underscore J10. Um, just make sure that you spell my name right. It's N-U-Z-H-A-H. Anyway, number five is the Fenty Beauty. I think it's called the Glass Bomb. And I absolutely love, love love this lip gloss i'm like obsessed with it i'm not a lip gloss girl like i was never a lip gloss girl but this lip gloss damn like it'd be glossy and like the nice kind of glossy so this is the swatch of this lip gloss it doesn't obviously show up as nicely as it does on your lip but 
it's absolutely beautiful so number four is my stella um glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow and it looks like a little lip gloss but it's not it's meant for your eyes and what i like about this glitter is that it dries really fast and it's also so pigmented like how beautiful is this it's so stunning it retails for 325 or something like that and yes it's steep and yes i only own one because it's steep <laughs> but it is worth every penny and when i am richer i'm going to get me the other shades because wow it stays on it's so pigmented and it's just so beautiful like honestly it's so so stunning so number three is my laura mercier powder it's a translucent powder and basically this is how the powder looks it gives you that like really nice flawless smooth finish like when you're setting your makeup underneath your eyes or on your face it just smooths out everything and blurs it out and it's just beautiful i think in Joburg there's a laura mercier store but in cape town there isn't so you're gonna have to go through muse sa or other instagram retailers who sell international brands and then last two so this palette over here for those of you who have been watching my instagram and have been following me for a while you guys know i am obsessed with glitter like all things glitter like you can drown me in glitter and i would say thank you i love 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 glitter um so i got this glitter palette from billion girl and it is so beautiful and you know what like let me just put a disclaimer out there do not judge by the instagram feed because then you won't buy it because like the pictures on there do not do this glitter palette justice like i use it so often there's like a little holes in these little um glitter pans but they're so beautiful and they're so big like look at it in comparison to my face it's huge so just a quick review on this glitter um so far it's the best glitter palette that i've used like this so obviously with loose glitter you have more control the glitter won't go and move in places um but with a lot of these kind of palettes the glitter does move um but this one out of i've tried lots of other ones and this one is the one that i've i've kind of enjoyed the most so there's the glitter over there as you can see it's super super pretty so yeah do not sleep you want to glow you want to shine you want to sparkle get your little palette girl and then number one is this beautiful beautiful product on my lips the smashbox always on liquid lipstick i am obsessed now i know a lot of people are always like oh i'm obsessed with this product oh oh is like it's becoming overdated when people say that they're obsessed with something but i am obsessed with this formula and why i say that is i've actually tried so so many different liquid lipstick formulas and i've never felt one that sits so nicely on my lip and also that looks as nice as this one does yeah this is my my current it's product my number one that was my roundup of my 10 current fave products at the moment um yeah i'll probably be having a new set of 10 <laughs> fave products within the next couple of weeks or so if you guys have tried any of these products before please let me know let me know your thoughts um maybe you disagree with me maybe you agree with me i'd love to hear your opinions on it so leave me a comment below and please subscribe i'd really appreciate it Anyway, it was so nice to chat with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and have a beautiful, beautiful week.